السلام عليكم Good morning. May the peace of God be upon you all. And I'm very thrilled and honored to be to serve you as a dean of this event. And with your support and collaboration, I think we can come up with the best experience that uh, expected. Uh, I'll be addressing you in Arabic, so please use the translation facilities that you have here. Your Excellency, Mrs. Doreen Bogdan Martin, Secretary General of the ITU, Mr. Mario Manovich, Director of the BR, distinguished heads and members of delegations, may the peace of God be upon you all. I have the pleasure to speak to you at this ceremony in which we launch the Radio Communication Assembly for the year 2023. I seize this opportunity to express how much I am pleased as an MRT that my country, the UAE, is hosting the meetings of the Radio Communication Assembly as well as the WRC here in Dubai. Dubai, which has always uh, kept its doors and hearts open to receive and welcome their guests. At the outset, I would like to thank those who have organized the meeting, this assembly, and later the World Radio Communication Conference. All those arrangements made have embodied the spirit of one team between the government of the UAE, represented by TDRA, the Telecommunications and Digital Government Regulatory Authority, and between the ITU uh, team. They have accompanied all the arrangements and preparations for this major event. Ladies and gentlemen, while the world today is living a delicate historical sta stage in terms of uh, the speed of changes and developments, your meeting represents a milestone so that we can come up with the outcomes that will represent the interests of everyone in the field of radio communications. This is a field upon which the process of uh, future shaping is based, especially in light of uh, developing technologies known as the fourth uh, industrial revolution and the global trends today to establish smart cities. Those meetings are important, and this importance stems from the vital and central role played by the Radio Communication Assembly in adopting decisions, recommendations, and study questions in the radio sector of the ITU, ITUR. Our discussions and decisions will also form the framework for vital studies that will contribute to developing the radio communication standards and practices reflecting our commitment to the highest levels of innovation and cooperation. The task, the task that uh, we are dealing with in this forum will be the beginning of a series of actions that will lead to effective outcomes in the upcoming study period, hoping that the study group efforts will be focused on, on issues that will be most important in the context of our mission. At the end of our sessions, we hope that we will have in hand a specific strategic program uh, with a complete uh, study group program to confront the challenges in the field of uh, telecommunications in this meeting. As in all meetings that will take place within the RA, we play a very important humanitarian role and we embody the concept of an integrated and cooperative humanitarian team, where the efforts of countries and sectors are all united in issues related to radio communications. All this will be reflected on our common goals of development, prosperity, and progress for our peoples and humanity, so that we chart a path for the future where technology meets the needs of society in harmony with the spectrum that we all share. Ladies and gentlemen, between your previous uh, assembly and this one, the, f the past four years have witnessed major events. They have left uh, uh, consequences and outcomes that are difficult to erase from uh, human history. These events have varied. They have been in the health, climate sector, cyber sector, 
and also other types of events. But the common denominator among all of them is that they have posed challenges and threats to human uh, humans. The world has mobilized its forces to confront those challenges, but the common lesson that we have learned from all those crises is the strategic importance of uh, the telecommunication sector in confronting risk and ensuring the continuation of life in all circumstances. The second lesson, which is no less important, is the urgent need to enhance the spirit of cooperation and human brotherhood. The experiences that we have lived together have shown that risks of all kinds are threats that cross borders and do not distinguish and differentiate between one nation and the other. Any measure uh, will be incomplete unless they are part of a comprehensive strategy based on cooperation and partnership. Are accordingly, the agreements and understandings that are expected to be reached in this uh, honorable assembly, they come in the context of all our contributions to shaping the desired reality for human uh, humankind or humanity, a reality that is based on the principle of win-win, which is the true meaning of victory in achieving the interests of all parties. I hope that God uh, grant you success in your endeavors to serve humanity and may the peace of God be, be upon you all.